This is promising. Chile, the second lithium producer globally, may be gearing up to simplify and incentivize lithium investment, according to news reports. This could shift the landscape for the sector. Let's dissect. Reports say that a bidding scheme process is in the works and it may be formally announced at the PDAC where a Chilean delegation is headed. Additionally, the Undersecretary of Mining, Willie Crack, said this to El Mercurio, which is a leading Chilean newspaper. We know we must give signals to develop the industry and create conditions to allow the development of new projects. Yes, all countries should. Chile has struggled to garner wide interest with only a handful of new lithium explorers joining the mature industry, headed by SQM and, and Albemarle in the last decade. Why is that? I believe there are mainly three reasons. In addition to long-standing issues with the national tournament system that restricts new entrants in general, which is a hot topic on its own, lithium runs, but with concrete in its pockets. There's a convoluted system of lithium-specific permits aiming to ease tighter restrictions established in 1979 that prohibited concessions except for a few cases. CEOs were introduced in 2019 instead of removing restrictions. The involvement of more multiple state-owned entities and recent creation of a national lithium company back in December, aiming to emulate the Codelco or Enami model. This brings delays, uncertainty and multi-counterparty risk. Also, copper is not lithium. Thirdly, there's, uh, there's been community opposition to some projects, many of these unjustified and appearing to be more NIMBY than anything else. This is affecting not only lithium, but other commodities such as Rio's Phoenix proposed mine. All of this has collectively kept investors relatively at bay and diverted most new lithium explorers to neighboring Argentina, which I have to say has been great for us. Granted, some progress has been made by companies like LPI, Cleantech, and others who are working within the existing regulations. But Chile should also be benefiting from the energy transition fully. In 2021, it produced 30% of global lithium production, which is the second producer globally after Australia, and was first on reserves with 36% according to the USGS. Note that reserves versus five years in production in a chart, the scale of this is completely mind-blowing. And they know they are missing out. We are losing market share, they say. Back in 2018, 2019, they were also forecasting production to fall, which hasn't happened and effectively doubled from 2018 to 2022, but it's still coming from the same two companies. True, lithium prices have softened this year, but companies in the battery supply chain are fighting to secure their raw materials, including automakers like Tesla, General Motors, Ford, and giants like LG Chem. This could bring new spikes in coming months and heaps of m and I've said before that high prices for too long wouldn't be good as we don't want to inside substitution tech. Other, option already ex other options already exist, but they are not even close to mainstream. And let's not forget how long it took for Leon to get established. I mean, matters, Chile. And for the market, Chile truly simplifying the process and opening up can have massive impacts. But also, if supply fears are eventually crystallized, the world may need more Chilean lithium. Will Chile sort this out and make the most of this run, however long it is? They have spoken about similar plans before, many highly promising. But maybe this time it will be different. Maybe.